Good morning, readers. Today I want to teach you that readers know that they can go back to the same place, the same page, and the same reading adventure and see something new every time. Readers reread. We're going to take a look at Iris and Walter and the field trip. We'll reread chapter three. Where's Walter? And we're going to see if we notice even more and understand the story even better. Okay, let's get started. When the bus pulled up in front of the aquarium, Iris said, Look at all the people. Hey, Walter, said Benny, that boy is wearing a shirt just like yours. He is, said Walter. Are you noticing anything, readers? Hmm, I'm wondering. That boy that Iris sees? I think he's the boy Iris thought was Walter when she held his hand inside the aquarium. Let's keep reading and see if we notice more. Now, children, it's very crowded here, so keep your eyes on me, said Miss Cherry. The children walked down a dark hallway. Everywhere they looked, there were fish. Ooh, they whispered. Are you noticing anything on this page? Remember, take a look at the pictures and the words. I see this picture of the boy in the shirt. That's probably why Iris got confused. Let's keep reading. Sharks, said Benny. They look mean, said Iris. While the children were looking at the sharks, Miss Cherry and Jenny's mother counted everyone. Okay, follow me, said Miss Cherry. Readers, what are you noticing on this page? There's probably lots of things, so take a look. Take a look at the pictures and the words. I'll give you a minute. Some things you might be noticing. Miss Cherry is telling the kids to keep their eyes on the sharks. Hmm, I wonder why. Do you think it's because it's really crowded? She wants to count them? Do you think there are some people that are really scared? Can you tell by their faces? Why do you think she wants to count them? On the page before, we read that it's a really dark hallway. Maybe she wants to keep track of everyone to keep sh and make sure that everyone is safe. Maybe. Well, readers, we have only read a few pages and we have noticed so many details already. Can you imagine if you keep reading more pages and then the entire book again? Wow, you're going to notice so many details. So today when you go off, I want you to find a book that you have already read. So you have read it one time already. And I want you to reread it again and see if you notice even more details. And write it down on a piece of paper and send it to your teacher. Okay? Remember, you are going to reread to notice more. Mm -hmm. Study the words and study the pictures. Okay, readers, off you go.